So I'm doing this video a little different than my usual video sitting in front of a camera and talking. Today I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade a cheap $50 keyboard which Banggood sponsored. Everything used in this video will be linked in the description below. This is the Royal Clutch 61. It's a really good wireless keyboard for its price. I got a wide version of the keyboard because it's gonna match the keycaps better. It's both wireless and also USB-C compatible. Now I've used this keyboard and I actually really like the keyboard but can we make it better? Firstly, I took a wire keycap puller and pulled out all the keycaps. Next, I grabbed the screwdriver and I unscrewed everything at the back. Unplug the battery from the socket. We're going to be desoldering all the switches on the keyboard, so make sure you have a solder sucker. The kit that Banggood sent me actually came with a solder sucker, so that was pretty good. Now once you're done, take out all the switches. Remove the stabilizers. Open up the key switches and loop the housings. Break apart the stabilizers. Clip off the sharp parts of the stabilizer. Loop the stabilizers. Put the stabilizers and switches back. Solder everything back into place. I'm adding foam to the keyboard case to make the acoustics slightly better. And now for the keycaps. Oh my god, that looks good. By the way guys, I started this project at 3 o'clock and it's no longer 3 o'clock. So, yeah.
The gameplay you guys watch is actually called Project Loki and it's actually developed by my friend and it's out now, links in the description. Y'all can go check it out, but the servers might die. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys like the new style I was going for, you know, the aesthetic slow style instead of the normal, usual, crazy mess that it is. If you like the new style I was going for or you just like the video, you know, drop a like down below. It takes less than a second and it really helps out. Also, a huge thanks to Banggood for sending me all the stuff. I'll be linking all the stuff I use in this video and also their website down below in the description. If I'm not wrong, new users get a discount. So that's, that's pretty cool. So if you do want to build this keyboard for yourself, all the stuff is linked in the description. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually giving this keyboard away to one of my close friends, so yeah. Gonna miss it, but hope he enjoys it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Share this video with all the keyboard friends you know, and I'll see y'all in another video.